Let me know when yeah, we're, we're we are live. Great. Um, Very good. Hey, everybody. This is John Stoll, and I'm with my good friend Matt Toshima of Kaidu Pink House. We are in Portland, Oregon. And my good friend, who I've not seen, we discovered in a recent conversation here tonight in almost 30 years, Dean Kame with GSP and Sung Min Lee are uh, helping with the streaming on their end down in the Bay Area in San Francisco. Uh, those of you who maybe looked at some of the advanced promo for this concert were expecting me to be joined by my friend guitarist Mike Doolin. And Mike, unfortunately, is not feeling well. Thankfully, nothing serious, but I'd love to play with Mike uh, for a future streaming concert. So tonight is just me solo. And I'll be playing for you for about an hour, doing a mixture of some standards, some songs from Brazil, and a few original tunes. So we're going to start, or I'm going to start, I should say, with something from Tom Jobim that maybe you haven't heard. It's not quite as well known as some of the ones that perhaps some of you have played. This one's called Inutil Paisache from Tom Jobim. <laughs>
I love the music from Brazil, and I'll play a few more songs from Tom Jobim and perhaps a few other Brazilian composers uh, while we're while we're here together tonight for the hour. Um, my Toshima has access to any comments that you choose to make, uh, comments or questions. I'd love to hear from you while we're here together for this hour. And uh, if you like what you hear this evening, uh, any donations, donations of any amount, I should say, would be greatly appreciated. And those are split evenly between me and GSP, which is a great organization that many of you probably know about in the Bay Area. Beautiful guitar store, and Dean Kame has been there for, he told me, almost 47 years now. Beautiful catalog of sheet music, literature for guitar, incredible instruments. So GSP is certainly worth supporting. I'm going to play for you now a short medley of a couple of Bill Evans tunes that I love. These are the only two songs from Bill that I have memorized, but I'd like to learn some more of his repertoire. He wrote quite a few beautiful compositions. And these two were both written in the mid-1960s. The first one I'm going to play is called Funny Man, which has a lyric. And the second one is called, um, I'm sorry, the first one will be Remembering the Rain. This is the one with the lyric. And the second one is Funny Man. Two songs from Bill Evans, circa 1965.
Thank you.
There were a couple of compositions from Bill Evans for you. I really love his playing and his writing and his harmonic sensibilities. I hope you do too. Uh, Matt is telling me that perhaps we have a comment or a question, Matt? Yeah. Uh, Bruce Joe Bridges? Uh, Drew. Drew. Uh, Very good. Drew, thank you so much for your kind words. And uh, keep listening. I'll be playing some more for you. Stick around as long as you can, please. Uh, anyone who is watching, by the way, if you'd be interested in any of my educational materials, I have lots of courses available for folks like True Fire, Mel Bay, DC Music, Mike's Master Classes. And I will happily, happily mail to anyone who responds uh, with their email contact uh, 70 pages of material for free just to give you a little sample of my teaching. And you can uh, see also many samples for free up on my YouTube channel or the True Fire YouTube channel. And that ends the commercial portion of our concert. Uh, those of you who are just tuning in, if you're expecting to see me playing with Mike Doolin, unfortunately Mike is not feeling well, although it's thankfully nothing serious. He, he will hopefully join me in the future for another live stream for GSB. So tonight, you got me solo. I think maybe now I'll do maybe an original song for you. Oh, a few more. Matt, Matt is saying we have a few more comments. I'd love to hear from you. So Matt, please. Tell me the name again, please, Matt. Rebecca, okay. I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy that you. I'm glad we agree, Drew. Hey, here's a little plug for a friend of mine. My friend Sid Jacobs, who's about my age, is a wonderful LA guitarist who studied with people like Jimmy Weibel, who is one of my very favorites that Sid introduced me to. Uh, those of you who are guitarists who might be interested in exploring the music of Bill Evans arranged for the guitar, perhaps Dean could order this for you, GSP, if he doesn't have it in stock already. I'm sure he probably carries maybe some Hal Leonard, or maybe they just do GSP publications only. I'm not sure. Dean can enlighten you. But Sid Jacobs has a book called The Bill Evans Guitar Book, and that has arrangements of about 15 of Bill's tunes with as much of Bill's harmony as Sid could appropriate for the guitar. So I, I would recommend that book if you'd like to explore a Bill Evans harmony on the guitar. So I'm going to do a piece for you now that I wrote. This one's called Tapioca Time. It's about dessert. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So that's tapioca time about dessert. Uh, I'm going to do something for you now from bassist composer Steve Swallow, who is also another one of my favorite composers. He's had a long career playing primarily electric bass for about the last 60 years. Unusual for a bassist at the time when he stopped playing the upright. He played beautifully on the upright and had a good career. And he decided, I think in the late 1960s, to exclusively play uh, electric bass. And that's worked out quite well for him, actually. I think he's still active and has a large body of work that he's composed. Uh, here's something he wrote, I believe in the 1960s or 70s. It's a little waltz called Podus from composer bassist Steve Swallow.
a little Steve Swallow for you. I may play another one of his songs for you before the hour is up. Uh, for those of you just tuning in, uh, if you're expecting to see Mike Doolin joining me, unfortunately, Mike was not feeling well. Thankfully, it's nothing serious, but I'd love to have him join me for another live stream in the future. So you're getting me solo tonight. I'd also like to thank my good friend, Matt Toshima, with Kind of Pink House, hosting me in Portland, Oregon, uh, Dean Kame and Sung Moon Lee down at GSP in San Francisco. Great that Dean has been doing these live streams with Sung for quite a while now. And any donations you're inclined to make, donations of any amount would be much appreciated. Uh, they are, those are split evenly between me and GSP. And certainly GSP is well worth supporting, I think. Perhaps an old standard. Uh, here's one I like from Cole Porter called Everything I Love. And these are Bill Evans changes on the Cole Porter classic, Everything I Love. Thank you. 
Everything I Love from Cole Porter, a little bit of reharmonization courtesy of Bill Evans. So I think I'm going to play for you now a ballad that I really like from Henry Mancini, who began, I think, as a, an arranger and pianist and had a long career doing uh, film and TV work. He brought a lot of great music for film and television. And one of the shows he wrote for, for television in the 60s, was the detective series called Peter Gunn. And there's a beautiful ballad from that show that I'm going to play for you called Dreamsville. And this arrangement is courtesy of a great uh, piano-guitar duo, Bryn Roberts, who's Canadian, who now happens to live in my hometown of Portland, Oregon, and Lage Lund, great Norwegian guitar player, who recently relocated back to Norway from New York to take a teaching position at the college in Oslo, one of the colleges there. Both great musicians, and they have a terrific duo with a couple of recordings, including this arrangement with a little modulation. So Dreamsville from Henry Mancini, arrangement courtesy Bryn Roberts, Lage Lund. Oh, before I before I start, Matt has a few comments he's going to read to me that I'm happy to respond to. Okay. Great. Well, I think. Great. Guys, thank you for watching and for your kind words. So this is, with the exception of Moon River uh, and Days of Mine and Roses, this is the only Henry Mancini song that I know and play. But sometimes my interest is piqued to explore some more repertoire from a great composer. If I hear one or two songs I like, it encourages me to want to dig a little deeper. So some people I want to explore uh, more as composers and add some of their material to my repertoire are Tom Jobim, although I know about 20 of his already. He wrote 400. So I'm going to add a few new Tom Jobim. I'd love to add a few more from Henry Mancini and also some more from Steve Swallow. Kind of list goes on and on. So guys, thanks for your comments. Matt has maybe one more comment he'd like to read to me. Yeah, this is from the White House. Um, you are such a remix and an inspiration. Guys, I really appreciate all your kind words. So I don't want to keep you waiting too much longer. Here's my take on Dreamsville from Henry Mancini. Thanks, guys, for all your kind words and for watching.
Greensville from Henry Mancini. I bet some of you caught the modulation up to D flat for the last eight. That's courtesy of Bryn Roberts and Lagley Lund, as I mentioned. I'm going to do another song in D flat, also with a half step modulation. Uh, this is the great Billy Strayhorn's composition, Isfahan, which was part of the Far East Suite. Isfahan was an important trade route city in Iran, I think, in the Middle Ages, 15th, 16th century, and it is now a, has been for many years, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It looks like a beautiful city. And this arrangement is courtesy of Steve Gilmore, a great bassist who played for many years with Phil Woods, among others. And Steve takes the first 16 bars of Billy's tune down a half step to the key of C, and then up a half step to D flat for Billy's original key, which is exactly the modulation I just used in, um, in Dreamsville. So here we go, Isfahan, also kind of slow. Hope you don't mind if I keep it in the ballad realm for one more minute. I love Billy's melodies, and this is one of my favorites. So Isfahan, Billy Strayhorn, arrangement courtesy of Steve Gilmore.
One of my very favorite ballads from Billy Strayhorn. I want to explore some more of his work too. Maybe I'll do another original for you. We have a few more tunes. Uh, those of you who have just tuned in in the last couple of songs, I'm sorry that Mike Doolan has not been able to join us. Uh, he was feeling a little bit under the weather, thankfully not a serious illness. We hope to have him join us in the future. Uh, if you like what you're hearing, donations of any amount are gratefully accepted, and those are split evenly between GSB, wonderful, important for us in the guitar community for almost 47 years in the Bay Area, thanks to Dean Kame, assistance from Song Mud Lee tonight, and my good friend Matt Toshima up here in Portland, Oregon with us at Kaido Pink House. Um, I think I have time for at least one more. Matt says there maybe is a comment or two. Great. Okay. Great. Carlos, thank you so much. We do obrigado, Carlos. If you Great. Jeff, thanks so much. I really appreciate everyone's kind words and everyone watching. Uh, streaming concerts are not perfect because you're not in the room with me, but given the current situation, this is one way we can reach out to each other and collaborate, and I'm very grateful for the opportunity. So probably one more tune is going to do it, guys. Uh, since Carlos has just logged in from Brazil, maybe I'll go out with something from another one from Tom Jobim. This is one that I like very much from him called Caminos Cruzados, which means crossroads. Here we go.
So ending with Caminos Cruzados from Tom Jobim. Thanks again to Dean Camay and Songmun Lee for their help on their end for GSP in San Francisco. And my good friend Matt Toshima, Kaida Penkhouse here in Portland, Oregon with me. Uh, it was a pleasure to play for you. Uh, we'd be happy to hear any other comments if you want to log in after we're off air. Please support GSP. Many good streaming concerts, I think, already in their archives and hopefully more to come. Stay well, everyone, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks so much.